What's up guys, welcome to my channel, and today I want to talk to you guys about how satellites prove 100% without, without a doubt that we live in a flat realm, a flat earth, and we live on a flat earth, and um, first of all, like, if you think about the inconsistencies about, like, space and satellites in general, and etc., and you scrutinize NASA really deeply, you're going to find a lot of flaws and holes. But this thing was put up, what, when was it put up? Like in the 60s or 70s, something like that? And you're telling me that stuff's like not rusted up, not, isn't it, this, the temperatures are supposed to be really hot up, up there. So there should be massive wear and tear. How is that rust bucket up there still like in one piece? And we've seen, you know, inside of the ISS in their tours, how they, they it's just a mess in there. The cables are everywhere and they're on cables pretty much and they just cgi it out but um the iss is actually larger it's a it's pretty much a giant satellite because it orbits our ball earth as they say and satellites go are like pretty much a machines or any object that orbits our earth and uh it's the largest man-made satellite but apparently we can see this with our telescope and people track it and they can actually see it. And something up there resembles this shape. But this is not some. It's something. Something is up there. But it's not something that people are on. It's not something physically where people are on it. It's probably just. Uh, it might be a weather balloon. Um, it might be some kind of advanced tech that we don't understand. Um, but. I know that it's not someone, there's not, these people are not in there. And um, the funny thing is that the ISS is actually further away than satellites. So, uh, and there are thousands of satellites allegedly out there. So how come, so we should technically be able to see thousands of satellites crossing the full moon on a clear night. As, um say like oh yeah like here like th this is how many they put out allegedly there should be th this is how many they corporations and such uh put up their their own satellites and apparently and there's no real f f uh actual photos of them if you search online they have thousands and thousands of uh once someone started uh, noticing this they actually started making thousands and thousands of cgi ones and just putting flooding the web with them and now it's kind of hard if you're like trying to find it. If you think you 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 be kind of trying to figure out which ones are real or not, right? But to be honest, they're all fake, and there's not even video of them being launched out there. I think they have some one couple fake fake ones now, poorly faked ones. But I'm not gonna go into that. The point is that they're actually closer, and the the sat the ISS is beyond it. How come we can see the ISS but not satellites? But the the main smoking gun is actually the flight paths. So when I was a kid, actually, I would play um, James Bond, GoldenEye, and 64. And to come to think of it, that whole movie was a, was a space propaganda movie about satellites and such. A super weapon in space that could shoot a laser, etc., etc., and destroy places on the Earth. You know, like in Command and Conquer, they have, they have that space weapon that GDI uses. Anyway, so I noticed in the video game a screen, and it showed a, z a zigzag line. And as I got older, I real I found out that those were uh, are allegedly um, satellite flight paths. And actually, interesting, 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 <laughs> interestingly enough, I don't know. Why I can't say that. Interestingly enough. Um, the sun and the moon have the same path, have the same pattern, and I find that very, very interesting. Um, and you can go on sun and moon or day and night live tracker, and that's how I kind of track the moon when I'm gonna s use my camera to view it. And um, I found it interesting. It does follow this zigzag pattern. And they have a, I'll read you online what their reason is, but, no, well, actually, let's just go there now. Um, so, we we were always thinking, like, they always go, like, 
completely in cylindrical kind of orbits. Spot, but they actually kind of like I would think they would go like this, right? They would just go like maybe circle, circle, circle. But how are they not smashing into one another? How are they not colliding with one another? Actually, that's a great question. Why don't we just search that? How do satellites not c collide? Yeah, with one another. Collisions are rare because when a satellite is launched, I bet you exactly, they're going to say it's been calculated to be exactly in the same spot. Dude, there are thousands of them out there. This is retarded. We can see, see like light shows sometimes at night. Way up in space and then get... Yeah, but then we would get... <clears throat> but everything would burn up in the atmosphere if it was coming down on us. Anyway, so uh, I don't buy that. So here's a live satellite path, flight path we're tracking right now. But um, this is how we would think they go, right? And again, if they were like this, how could you ever regulate their orbit like, without them smashing into one another? And again, I was looking at the flight path. The ISS has the same flight path. So it, I'm saying like pretty much it is, in fact, going in a zigzag over our ball Earth, if that's what they're saying. Because we can see the ball Earth. When you see, I don't buy that at all because the map here, when you see it, it... If you just wrap this around, it, it still would be going in this path because these continents are still um, more or less on the same face, right? So, why don't we just go ahead and do something very interesting. Why don't we just plot points on this path and put it on a flat Earth map? And just see what, what kind of path it will take on a flat Earth map. So we're just going to go like boom, 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 boom. And we can actually just probably calculate the, the rest of the path. Probably the same, right? More or less. Oh, it looks like, looks like it's going to be a little bit different. But uh, they're, they're essentially just... Uh, in what, we, what we think is they're just... Well, what we know actually is that they're, they're actually just helium balloons with some instruments attached to them. Well, there's like sat there is a satellite, but it's attached to a helium balloon, high altitude weather balloon, really big balloons. We have photos of them online. Uh, I don't bother to even. I didn't bother to save any, but I could find them if I wanted. And let's just go ahead and start plotting. Go quickly because I don't. This video is supposed to be short. I'm just kind of tired here. Okay, so I wish this could get bigger. No, let's just keep it expanded so we don't get lost. Okay, so uh, what is that actually? It's kind of like North Asia, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. Is that really the largest size? Okay, well, whatever. Okay, so that would be right about... Shoot. Can we rotate this thing? Okay, I'm just going to have to like turn my head. Oh, wow, it's so different, right? It's so different. Yeah, rotate it. What am I even looking at? Here's India, right? Stuff in here's Russia? This is so messed up. Wait. I don't understand. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now I got it. Okay, so Asia, let's just say right over here. North Asia. 
She leave me right away here. Okay, and then um Gonna go down to what? What is that? Russia? Past Russia? Somewhere in Russia. And then we're gonna go where have you said India? And then where have you said Africa? And then let's just say well, down by Antarctica, eh? It's like down there. And then let me see the first one again. Is that even right? It's like way the fuck by. Dude, what, where is that shit? Uh, what is that? Hang on. Dude, why does it go so far? Can you just like chill? Like, why is it so like. weird? Let me see my map again. That does look more or less accurate. Okay. okay. And then... Uh, okay. And then it comes back by more of Antarctica. Let me see if I can just plot that correctly. Hang on, hang on. Is that right? Oh, oh shit, that is. Uh, on the other side of Antarctica. On the other side of South Africa? On the other side of South Africa. Yeah, so let's just say go like that. What? That's a fucking fat path. And then after... You must have some side, some sort of. I think they're able to guide it slightly. It doesn't just go by the winds. <clears throat> Let me see it. Where else? Oh, but the sun didn't go by so, so, uh, a different path, but same pattern. Anyway, so then it goes up by, let's just say, right in the ocean. Shit. You said what? What is that? Whoa. Uh, some kind of here's Ecuador, Peru. Hmm. Probably like I'm gonna say like here. I'm just gonna make the more points there, make it a little bit more stronger. To see, shit. Okay, and then, actually, it was actually way up here, in the beginning, let me see. Up, almost by the, but that's in the water, right? it's so hard to determine, because this map is like, it's distorted, this map is distorted. That could be like way out here, eh? Yeah, probably is somewhere way up, way out there. Okay, and then after, let me just see that again. Is that right? Yeah, way across there. Yep, that makes sense. And then also, um, oh, we have to finish the rest of the plots. Okay, now this goes kind of near LA. Starting to get into. into Maybe Canada, let's see. We're definitely into Canada.
Yeah. Oh yeah. Right over here. Okay. So let's see. And then it's just going up to Alaska. Hmm. Alaska. Let me see. Where's Alaska? Right here. Okay, hang on. And then after this one, is that really? Did I really do it that far? Is it really? Well, to be honest, we didn't really see. It may have landed there, eh? So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was like right, right here. So let's just draw that circle then. If if we ignore that one I just fucked up on, it does just go in a circle. So satellites just have path paths literally in circles over our flat plane Earth. Because if you take any um, straight up any um, any of these circ uh paths you'll you'll see and let's see what why they say why are seven light flight paths curve oh see look at that eh look they right away just tried to debunk it That's so funny. <laughs> this is fucking clowns. Don't trust Google, guys. All right, peace.